Hello there, welcome back to my bench once again. And in this tutorial I'm going to tie you up a muddler minnow pattern. Uh, this is what I call a mini muddler. And I tie them in a variety of different colors. I just switch up the marabou. It doesn't seem to really matter what color marabou. I've caught trout on a, just about every color tied in for the wing on this little guy. And it's tied on a size 10, quite a small hook. It's similar to the bigger version, it's just that I don't put an underwing under it, just the marabou and the little peacock on the top. Red tail. And you can have silver tinsel body, copper, gold, change that up as well. So I thought you might like to see this pattern tied, so I'll get this little guy a device, a new hook in, we'll get started here. Okay, the hook I'm using is a Mustad 9671. And I'm tying it on a 10 here. So I'll get that locked in the vise. Okay, and any thread, you can use any color thread. The thread color doesn't really matter as long as it's strong enough to uh, spin a little deer here. I'm just using Danville 6 aught and a brown. So we'll start that. I come back about three eye lengths or so behind. First, we have room for our spinner deer here hit on. And I'm just going to wrap back here towards the rear of the hook just about to the barb and I'll snip that little tag end off of there like so come back a couple more wraps okay and the tail is just some red saddle hackle fibers off a red saddle hackle so I'm going to pull some of those off here for the tail okay got some fibers here and I want those to be about hook gap length. So we'll come around with a pinch wrap and pull straight up on those and back down. Now there's our tail and I'm just going to wrap that down forward here. Bind all those excess fibers down. Okay, now I've got a piece of small mylar tinsel here, silver and gold, but I want the silver for this guy. So I'm going to tie it right up front here with the gold side facing me. Once I get a hold of this little devil here. Okay, there we go. Tie that down. Now, I'm going to throw in a half hitch here. Just like so. Okay, swing around my bobbin cradle because I'm going to use the rotary function here. Wrap that before I do. I'm going to put some head cement along there for added durability. Just a little bead along the shank. Okay, so we want silver side showing, so we'll begin to wrap that. And we'll just keep our wraps close together here, touching wraps. We get a little gap going down, you can always cover that up going back up again. Watch your, your hook point when you get close there. Come back towards the tail. Just like so. Okay. Just about there now. Alrighty. Couple more wraps now. We're going to start working back up again. Try to keep the wraps nice and close together this time, going back up. Just like so here. Just squeeze out some of that excess head cement there. Actually, I'm going to go back on that a little once again, then back forward. Just want to cover most of that thread up with the tinsel. Okay. Alrighty, we're just about up to the tie off point. Okay, right there. I'm going to move this cradle out of the way. Get that out of my way here, and I'm going to tie this guy off. Okay, we'll come up a few wraps. Alrighty. And I'm going to snip that excess out of there. Okay. There's our body. And one other step I like to do to add just a little, even make it more durable, so it's te uh, the trout's teeth don't tear it apart. Because 
when they hit these little guys they hit them pretty good I'm taking some solar as bone dry and just put a coat over that fairly good and thick and I'll just take my dubbing needle and go over that spread it out even just like so just a little extra step to add some durability okay and we'll set that with the light just like so here let's take a few seconds there we go alrighty there's our body now next step is the wing like I was saying I don't use an underwing of gray squirrel or anything for these smaller sizes just a small little tuft of marabou like so bring it back we'll tie that in about even with the tail okay snug that down pull straight up and I'll wrap back medium wraps on that guy and back forward once again there's our wing and I'm just going to snip the excess off here okay now I'm just going to use two strands of peacock curl on the top on the larger sizes I usually use three to four get two of these out here okay I'm just simply take those and even the tips up and we'll lay them on top with the same length as the uh, wing another pinch wrap pull straight up then we're going to wrap back the same as we did on the wing okay just like so and we'll snip that excess off okay now we're going to bind down all those fibers nice and tight just like so and we'll come back and get ready to tie in our collar and head for the muddler okay there's that now before I do that I'm just going to put a little drop of uh, head cement on those thread wraps there okay there we go okay now I have I'm using some short fine deer here, a patch of short fine that you would normally use like on a compre done or something like that but I find it's perfect length for these small muddlers so I've already cut a bunch out and got it in my stacker here I'm just gonna even it up a little bit okay I'll pull that out of the stacker it's nice and even there grab that by the tips now this little guy like I do most of my mothers, I've, I only use one bunch of deer hair to do the collar and the head. I find you don't really need to use two, but you can if you wish. What I do is just lay that on top. Measure it up. Where I want the collar to come back just beyond the hook point there. Just hold it in place. And I take a couple wraps. Loose wraps around. Pull down. Let it spin around. Then what I'll do is bring my thread all the way through those wraps just like so there we go then I'm just gonna come up in front a few wraps and then we have once I trim that you'll see you'll have your collar and your head all in one bunch so now what I'm gonna do just come in and make a whip finish here okay Grab my whip finisher. I'm just going to pull that hair back out of the way at the same time. Okay. Alrighty. We'll get three or four turns in there. Okay, that's fine. Come down. We'll snug that in. There we go. Tighten that down good and tight. And I'll snip off that excess. Okay, and another little drop of cement on those thread wraps. Go. Let that soak in. Okay, now all we're going to do is trim the head here in the collar. Okay, 
So what I'll do, I got a little curved pair of scissors here first I'm going to use. And just come around, start trimming that guy up. Just keep turning the vise as I go here. Okay, you can spin a tighter head on them if you want. I could have packed that in, but sometimes I like the head to be a little more, a little more loose on it, not so tightly packed. Now we'll just keep trimming that little guy. Okay, a few more fibers there to trim out. Usually I'll trim so much in the vise and then I'll I'll take my mud take them out and finish trimming. Just like that. Just a few more snips here and there. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take him out of the vise for a second here, just bear with me. I'm just gonna do a little bit to finer trimming on him here. It's more for me than the trout. I don't think the trout. Sometimes I think they like them a little bit, a little bit shaggier. You know, like you have probably found, like sometimes you'll catch a few trout on a fly, and once it gets a little shaggy looking, it works even better. I think we've all experienced that. It's just more for cosmetics for me, for how I want it to look, than it is for the trout. So, anyhow. Okay, uh, that's good enough. I could trim longer on it, but I'll stick that in the vise. You get the gist of it anyway. So there he is. A couple hairs there. I'm just being overly picky, is all, folks. Just being a little fussy here. Okay, so anyway. That's the done deal. Right there. Now, one last step I'll do is put one more coat of cement on that uh, on those stud wraps just for to make sure it stays together real well. There we go. Well, there we have it. Another size 10 mini marabou muddler. And like I was saying, you can tie that tie this guy in a variety of colors. Switch up that marabou, the tinsel. I've even tied them with uh, dubbing, dubbing for the body. You can. There's a variety of ways you can tie them up. And the trout seem to love these little guys. A lot of times they'll hit these smaller muddlers before they will the larger sizes. Sometimes. So I hope you can tie this guy up and throw a few of these in your box for uh, the upcoming season. And like always, I want to thank you so much for watching. And if it's for the first time seeing my tutorials, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like too if you wish. And I just wanted to throw this out there. If you guys want to keep seeing my videos, I'll definitely keep doing them. Keep making more in this uh, new year that we got here ahead of us. I just wanted to throw that out there. And like always, thank you so much for watching once again. Happy tying everyone, and uh, I shall see you again soon.